But I know this much that in the court of law, you can have the truth, but if you don't know how to communicate it, you will still go to jail. So having the truth is one thing. Knowing how to communicate it in a way that relates to the laws that govern you. Bring forth your strong reasons. Bring forth your strong reasons. Why should Satan take his hands off your life? Because you are tired of him, you are joking. Why should Satan leave your family and your destiny alone? Because you are tired of him? No, sir. There is only one basis for the liberty of the believer. Christ Jesus and the sacrifice. Christ Jesus and the sacrifice. If you bring yourself and your righteousness, the realm of the spirit reminds you that there are three kinds of sin. Personal sin, territorial sin and sin from bloodline. You may be free from personal sin, but how about the territory you are part of? A territory can sin, it is still sin. So when you stand before the judge of all the ages, the basis of that victory is the speakings of the blood. The moment you bring the blood into the equation, every accusation, doesn't matter how many years, doesn't matter every decade, because you see, listen, when God judges, he judges based on who he is, not based on the situation there. When God judges, he judges based on his person. And the Bible says the Lord is gracious and compassionate. You have to understand this. He is slow to anger and he is rich in love. God does not desire that any man perish. This is the character of the judge. Are we together now? The blood leverages on the integrity, the very nature of God with respect to what has been done in Christ. Once you engage the blood, watch this now. Satan has nothing else to say. Because the basis of Satan's operation is the fact that a human will was part of that negotiation. Are we together now? Somebody agreed. Satan, you can invade this family. And now you are saying he played his own part of the deal. Gave them whatever they were looking for. Fame or whatever it is. Now grandfather is dead. Now father is dead. You have come into Christ. And the Bible says those things should not hold on to you again. Just believing that they will never happen is a joke. There are rules of engagement. This is what I'm teaching you. Rule number one is that you must know how to engage the blood. Someone say the blood. blood. One more time, say the blood. the blood. So every time you say the blood of Jesus, don't just think liquid. Are we together now? No, think justice. Mercy to you or for you, but justice translated as judgment to every other power. Here are 10 reasons why people pray. Ehud connection with the divine. Prayer is a way to connect with a higher power, expressing devotion, reverence, and a desire for a relationship with God or the divine. 2. Seeking guidance. Many people pray to seek wisdom, clarity, and direction in their lives, asking for help in making decisions or understanding difficult situations. 3. Comfort and peace. Prayer can provide comfort during times of distress, offering a sense of peace and reassurance that one is not alone in their struggles. For gratitude, prayer is a way to express thankfulness for the blessings and good things in life, acknowledging the positive aspects of existence. 5. Intercession for others. People often pray for the well-being of others, asking for healing, protection, or blessings for family, friends, or even strangers. 6. Confession and Forgiveness Prayer provides an opportunity for self-reflection, allowing individuals to confess their wrongdoings and seek forgiveness, leading to spiritual cleansing and renewal. 7. Strength and Endurance Through prayer, individuals often seek the strength to endure difficult circumstances, asking for the resilience to face challenges. 8. Worship and Adoration Prayer is an act of worship, where individuals praise and adore the divine, celebrating the greatness and goodness of God. 9. Requesting needs. Many people pray to ask for specific needs, whether material, emotional or spiritual, believing that divine intervention can provide solutions or support. 
10. Cultivating a habit of mindfulness. Regular prayer can foster mindfulness, helping individuals remain focused on their spiritual goals and maintain a sense of purpose and direction in life. The Lord is my shepherd, I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures, he leads me beside quiet waters, he refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the 